audiences should expect miracles. I have such a great love of the play. I've always thought it was an amazing, maybe one of the best plays ever written. The play is so much about being truthful and speaking truth to power and unabashedly and reclaiming strength. I think Joan has always fascinated people in that she's actually an historical character. Joan, to me, is a rebel. She is one that refuses to like conform to the gender norms and prejudices of her time and, frankly, our time. You know, for someone like Joan, who was, you know, poor, young, and a woman, you know, three strikes you're out in, in 1429. I think we're fascinated with, with characters like Joan because we almost don't believe that this could have happened. all about the storytelling it's all like the plays the thing now the words are the thing and it's it's simple and it's specific and it's and it's ripped down and stripped bare and that brings about humanity and it doesn't allow the audience to disconnect with what's going on and they're on the forefront with us we try to make it feel like the the audience is as much on a journey as we are it's time for it. Obviously it's a time that's really important for women and, um, and, and she's such a strong character, maybe one of the strongest I could think of in literature. And I think audiences are really excited to see Joan in this time because we see her so much in our daily walks of life. She's no longer this icon on a pedestal, she is everyday women. It is the right time for this play. The audience can expect to be very moved. And I think it's gonna resonate with a lot of people on many different levels. I think they can expect to see four actors having a really great time, and we demand it of our audience to join us. But I think more importantly than that, I think they can expect to hear amazing arguments and amazing text and I think they can expect to hear things that demand them to lean forward and make a choice for themselves.